Hi babe. I just thought I'd read to you. <laughs> because I thought this would be funny. I wanted to read you the bit about Gypsy Spit. I can't find the page at the moment. Because that's what says in the script. And you know why? It's written by Romany. And you know what? I'm a Romany woman, so I can say it. Gypsy Spit. And I just like the thought of saying, you know what? It's just a gypsy spit. It could be anything. But I'm not suggesting you do this, but I'm going to read it out anyway. I mostly prefer the old fashioned method of sprinting and lightly banjoing. But that method was at least without a leg disease. And when the banjoing is lightly applied, it does certainly permit normal circulation, which of course is essential for healing. It's a jitsi method of saying broken limbs. <laughs> it made me laugh. I haven't tried this yet. But um I think you should on yourself. <laughs> That's the dragon. Which is still in use on sheep farms in the west of England. This is an old book. And this and that is setting in containers made of plant stems with tree branches. When a dog sheep or other animal fractures the limb. He was stuck. <laughs> He's a mustard cabbage. What a sake to see. When a dog, sheep, or other animal fractures a limb, either a stout cabbage stump or elder branch is taken. The pith removed from the centre, the stalk or branch, then padded with some soft material, sphagnum moss, because of its antiseptic properties, would be excellent for this, or the healing elder leaves. And the stalk, or branch then fixed around the fractured limb and held in position by light banding. If the limb is a very broad one, then several stalks or branches can be placed edge to edge in lightly balanced position. The advantage of this is the natural herbal spins in many ways both stems and branches are porous, there's an air through the limb and there's a slightly pliant. Their inner sides are soft but will not form hard areas in the manner of plaster. Above all, the herbal spirits are there for themselves, possessed with healing properties, and will therefore encourage nature in her natural reparative work. For instance, the old herbalist used to describe cabbage oil as a lotion for bathing through swollen, aching, or gassy legs. The leaves of the holly tree, this is quite interesting to me anyway, when trimmed of their prickles and bruise and applied to fractured limbs in the area of the fracture, are claimed by the gypsies to have remarkable powers of heat, uniting the bone ends so they are left as strong as a condition as they ever were before the fracturing. Holly should be given internally as a standard beer, one tablespoon of leaves to half pint water, honey blah 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 I told you, here with the banana. I want to find a bit about the flea and the, lip, and the gypsy spit. The fleas are jumping off the dog with that what I made already on onto me, which is nice for the dog, but not so good for me. Um, so I caught one and threw it out the window to the cat. <laughs> <laughs> or the spider, probably. But that was the... Um, I'm just telling you whatever I've done earlier on might have worked because a bit anyway I did claim it as well and then rubbed the old gypsy spit on it which was <laughs> my actual spit so it is gypsy spit which is probably the magic ingredient <laughs> what did you do when the dog had fleas? I spat on it dog and bicarb mixed together and then I did put it in my hands first of all I tried dusting it, and then I spat on some to make it more bally and then rubbed it into the back and um, I actually did just at, down at the base of the tail because that's where you're supposed to put the fleece stuff on and then rub some behind the ears uh, 
Gypsy Spit's just making me laugh. It's my new thing. I want my near bit. I might be on the few page. I have to read this to you really. Let's go into the let's go into the what? Please. Let's find please. What did I put Holly in the other day? I've had one before. I used to nibble the I used to nibble the pins off the Holly. Sometimes. Tell you that. I know that fire seeds it back together because it is like needles, isn't it? Queen of Pentacles though, she's a trickster. That's nature. She's love of nature. She might not make it work for everyone. She, I think you have to listen to her just because she's a instinct, isn't it? All these little mite fly things in the garden. Like, um, I wondered, I don't know, like water flea things that are flying, not midges. I wonder if it's why I came the dog off early on in the garden and now it's rained on them, if it's part of the cycle. I don't know enough. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Please. How's the alphabet work again? This is quite interesting. I've not actually read this book properly. I've just dipped in and out of it. Uh, and, uh, I don't think it's that. Little gypsy spit. I'll say gypsy spit. It's nothing to do with travels in there. Um, they're different. They're different people. Uh, they're just associating themselves with me. Uh, I haven't been. <laughs> I won't be the gypsy spit. That's why. When I came off today with the baking powder on them, I dropped them into some vinegar water, so they they probably just <laughs> fizzed up. I don't know. This is difficult stuff, please. Now wet the dog thoroughly, soaking the hair well. Next, rub some of the lotion deeply into the hair so each skin to see the parts of the animal treated thoroughly, especially the ears. Keep out the eyes. If it does then to do it was to small long life milk. Mix off the lava thoroughly and apply a second time. Allow the la lava to remain five minutes, rubbing in well all the time. Finally mix off very well and partly dry the animal's towels. The final a sheet of white paste and brush its hair thoroughly to bring out the dead fleas. First the hair funny fleas that may escape the lava, they will be in a feeble state and can be killed with ease. I regret the use of detergent, but it's a bit of tasting food needed for a go at the hose of the I feel I'm tickling you now. Let's be very for me, it's not jumping around. I'm gonna catch one. I'm gonna catch one now. Um I did look for some more on the dog. I 
Don't see anything. What page are you all around? It says about this sofa here, corky skin things. And uh, I didn't know that. Like a uh, lounge, lounge towel, yeah. And this is the same thing. It also says there. Cucumber for cat. <laughs> But, um, just read the book yourself. Blue toys are not good. Avoid them. Any product which carries a warning to keep up with your children should be highly suspect. The dog expert, George Hampton Edwards, warns against these painted blue collars. I would never use this lazy way of dealing with a real problem. Or, nor could we use the oil method with synthetic drugs. The systemic drugs. He states that the journal. The scientists may have decided by walking students in the shape of three colours of one and with red blood corks your sh well, how do you say this word? Sholin esterase to drop less than 20% of the exposure and chemical use of three colours is considered to be dangerous. This dichlorous chemical is also used by housewives. I found that growth of tissue of the eyes and inner ears are damaged more than the fleas. I would never use chemicals for my dog. Colleagues of ways and eucalyptus and other blue from the head. Any royal pea green pansy will be useful, especially if impregnated with eucalyptus. During the season of ticks and lice, and those whose parasites keep up their special seasons worldwide, generally most active at the time of high grass at this time. It's advisable to bring dogs indoors out of lungs or gardens at dusk. And then the parasites are most actively crawling around looking for victims to suck their blood. If dogs cannot be taken in, then it's helpful to rub a few drops of spirit a few clips into their coats on the top of their head, under the biscuit and above the paws on all four legs. Herbs which fleas are known to dislike are rosemary, santolina, chamomile, southernwood, wormwood, and strangely enough, celery and parsley tops when they have gone to seed. My final advice is to powder the hairless part of the dog's body where the fleas are most likely to bite with a mixture of acidy herbicides used in dried, finely powdered form. Which is if they lay all on there. Bought herbs aren't as good as herbs they dry them as electric. And. And a lot of magic. See, that's what said magic. She didn't say magic. But. She said. Ah, oh, here we go. I love this bit. It just made me laugh and laugh and laugh. Of all the chemicals, they are apt to be more damaged to general health than the insects against which they're being used. A herbal rub for use when searching for vermin of a dog, once in a pad of cotton wool or a teaspoon of cotton cloth, and sprinkle with a few drops of oil of eucalyptus and spirit of camphor. This makes bees easy to catch and nuisance worse than ticks. A clever gypsy trick. For cats and fleas is to moisten the human fingers with saliva. When the flea is touched, the, supply <laughs> the saliva glues its leg method into the tick and then jumps and escapes. Saliva is also used in the wound ticks and cats in mine. Slurping around the floor at dusk in the dog's lair. At that time, lice are leaving the dog's body to be gorged themselves with blood and can be picked up off the ground. The tiny ones can be crushed on the spot. A 
the sweats off the paper so it's powerful and burnt and kept it in severe lice infestation. They helped to spread sheets of white paper beneath the door. And the lice, which drop off, can then be clearly seen and killed. Look, that's say it. Zoom in. See, that's more fun than having an Xbox, isn't it? Chasing fleas around and swatting them. We won't need that kit when we've grown up. <laughs> Something sensible, not a walking stick. You know what? I can say with a walking stick, and I'll be able to, I'll be able to snaffle all the herds in that I've pinched off people. I'll be able to shove them up the head of the walking stick. When the police come after me, they won't wouldn't search my pockets for you know what? <laughs> they won't find it because I'd have tucked it in the walking stick. Then you won't be laughing. I could stick ten pounds in there as well. Maybe, except now you're going to look in there for it. I could tuck all sorts in it. You'd never know. You'd never think to look in there because you've not had one of those before. What else could I put in it? What would you put in it then? Piece of string? You've got a whole sewing kit in it, didn't you? Anything you wanted for emergency. Tuck it away from you know what? I bet you could get them where all the leg bits would be little containers. You could have <laughs> you could have a pot in each bit, couldn't you? And each thing could have a drink thing in it. You could take your whole lunch in it then, probably. You wouldn't need sandwiches. You could <laughs> or bag. You just put your walking stick with goodies and then go shaking up the street. Oh no. That'd be so good. I'd be a proper wizard then. I've got a stick to shake at people. I can't wait to be old and I actually need to use it. How much time have we got? 17. I tried to watch my last thing through but it kept shutting off so I thought I'd do it instead. Please lie sticks and have a skin burning. These skin parasites are all blood sucking and all doing immense harm to the dogs which are them, especially to young stock. All dogs should be searched daily. The skin irritation caused by the presence keeps the dog in a constant state of unease. While the flea itself is meant to be the cause of bubonic plague, it's carried by rats and is also a carrier of a small species of tapeworm. A different bird's bird can of the louse is back as a carrier. It's from Proved to be a, con a conveyor type of human. So it's bite, and blue lice or pigeon lice can cause a very painful skin condition of war and plain patches, teeth and discoloured teeth. Ticks can cause fever in dogs, which can prove fatal. Treatment. The first essential is to groom the dog and remove all loose hair and mat scurvy. So the daily brisk brushing and cooling morning and night are all very important in canine care. The friction of the hair and skin disturbs and harasses skin parasites. Really troublesome and stores their breeding cycle. Helps evict and also kills some of them. A special fine tooth flea comb is also an advantage. Then bathe thoroughly in a foamy bath of soap flakes. Scrub well, also with a brush, and using the bath soap, preferably with olive oil. Do not forget to wash well the ears and the tail. For perfect cleanliness, a second bathing with a good shampoo is advisable. External care is a first necessity. Precautions should be taken as to bedding. Do not use straw baskets or sacks, both of which provide excellent breeding places for skin parasites. For such as fleas do not breed on animals but on the ground. Black specks seen on the dog's hair are dry fleas' blood, not head. The flea excretes its blood to feed the larva on the ground. So the dog is fully dry. Pass over the entire body with a herbal insect repellent, not forgetting the inner ear flap and under the tail. Avoid all chemicals. They are apt to do more damage to general health than the insects against which they are being used. A herbal rub. I was that the rubbish. I'm 
I see those. I want to leave. Have a gypsy kit. It's a spit on your dog. <laughs> that wasn't funny. It was funny the first time. It's not funny now. It's Porsche with poor flesh and Ferrara at the safe distance from the other cubs. The only leave I set foot feeding can the owner be sure that each puppy receives its proper share of food. Care of cats. Here's the road. I have not included cats in any of the veterinary herbal books, except in passing, or to indicate a diet or treatment with similar to dogs. I have in this chapter on further information about the domestic cat in the fifth edition of this book, giving its new titles a complete herbal handbook for the dog and cat. Some years ago I added a chapter on farm cats for the Dutch edition of my complete herbal handbook. I think it was worse, maybe. I don't know where this is written. When was it written? Illustrated herbal handbook for everyone, complete herbal handbook for farm and stable, cats naturally. 1912 to 2009. Juliet. Yeah, he was a herbalist and author. He was a pioneer in work in holistic veterinary medicine, studying in Europe, Turkey, North Africa, Israel, and Greece, living with gypsies and farmers, and acquiring herbal raw from there. She is the author of many successful books, including the complete natural handbook for farm and stable and cats naturally. I know it's not a book, so you read it on the you know what. I'll refer to it rather. First published in 1955. I have a feeling my grandfather had a copy of it. She was a keeper of Afghans. I'm H E said we won't. Why? <sighs> Spit on myself. <laughs> that could be off too. Um Where's hard pack? Let's have a look. I don't know much about hard pack. Uh, you got a minute? Basically, it goes over and over saying dogs that have been vaccinated tend to suffer more than dogs that haven't with most of these diseases. With the correct.
Okay. Oh, my God. I guess that's how to use it. Heart pattern brain distemper. This disease is usually caused by the virus ailment. And like distemper, the real cause is not been proved. I linked. Look at the flea babe. It's always here first. Jesus. 